Welcome to BMBBH News with KF. News without the WS. Fentanyl to kill an adult reportedly found in an infant's body and his parents are now charged with murder. Guilty or not, the case in College Park is drawing attention to help that's available to mothers who may have a substance use disorder. Here's Sean Sheeran. Substance use disorder. Well, what is that? What a, what a grimy use of words. Uh, uh, I believe the proper terminology is drug addiction. But is this some type of woman splaining? <laughs> Fair use, by the way. The link to the source material this footage came from is in the description. Eric. The baby brought here to Children's Hugh Spalding Hospital in downtown Atlanta, six weeks old and unresponsive. It took until now, five months later, for the medical examiner to report finding fentanyl in the baby's blood. And police say that makes this a case of murder. College Park Police are charging both parents, Albedo Phileas and Shakoria Stewart's. You can already tell these two ain't wrapped too tight. I mean, why are they giving a baby drugs? Makes no sense at all. According to police, the parents initially told them back in January that they were all at home in their apartment in College Park. And at 4 a.m., the mom breastfed the baby, Jackson. But by 9 a.m., Jackson was unresponsive, and they brought him to the hospital, where he was pronounced dead. Police say the medical examiner later found so much fentanyl in Jackson's blood, quote, such a high dosage would be fatal in adults and could have possibly been passed through breastfeeding. Police say the mother told them she had not taken any drugs. As police continued to investigate, the Georgia Council for Recovery says mothers who do take drugs during pregnancy or after giving birth are often too frightened to tell anyone and seek help. They just fear uh, the stigma that they'll face in the community, and it kind of sways them from seeking help. Demetra Bowles with the Georgia Council for Recovery helps connect moms with peer coaches to get healthy. And Bowles says that has worked for hundreds of moms in the past five years. I myself am a mother who struggled with substance use disorder. Recovery is possible. There's those words again, substance use disorder. Uh, what, what, what is it with these people? Oh, I don't want to be called a drug addict. I had a substance use disorder. You were a drug addict. Stop. Stop trying to sugarcoat everything for feelings. Wow. A baby has been unalived and this is all they can talk about in this report. It's beautiful. Again, according to police, both parents say the mom in this case was not taking any drugs. And court documents show that according to police, the medical examiner also found in the baby's blood evidence of a designer opioid that could not have been prescribed. One more reason police decided to charge the parents with murder. In Atlanta, John Shearick, 11 Alive News. Murder. No shit. Like, babies are 100% dependent on responsible adults getting them through the most crucial point in their lives. I mean, six weeks old, Little Jackson wasn't even crawling yet. I mean, you know, we just is a clear case of everyone should not become parents. But unfortunately, in many cases, the wrong people do become parents. Six weeks old. And someone, either it was if it, either if it was one of them or both of them decided that giving a baby uh, fentanyl and a designer opioid as if one wasn't enough was a good idea. Yeah, this is like the 2023 version of uh, let's put a little spirit in the kid's milk and then they'll go to sleep. I mean, instead of just being responsible people who just, you know, give a baby the proper TLC that the baby needs in order to survive its first few months of life, they decided they wanted to take the irresponsible route. I mean, the fentanyl and the opioid just didn't walk in there and say, hey, let's go ahead and introduce ourselves to this baby. Six weeks old. 
I just want you guys to remember that. I mean, somebody was using. I mean, if she wasn't using, was he using? And, and fentanyl is deadly anyway. They said there was enough fentanyl in the baby's system to kill an adult. And for her to say she wasn't using, even if she was lying, it makes the optics that much worse because you're giving a baby drugs, illegal drugs, or drugs obtained through illegal means. And if she was breastfeeding, she know exactly what's going in the child's system. So even if the drugs belonged to the guy, they were in her presence and in the area. So even if he didn't give the baby the drugs, he's still just as responsible because he was present and he was there. We can only assume the only people that knows what happens is uh, him and her because the baby was still too young to register memories which makes this even more brazen these two people are sick and I hope they get tapped to the fullest extent of the law the, the, the punishment will no doubt still not fit the crime but put these people away you know how would they like it if someone shove fentanyl and some other illegal drug inside of them. Rest well, little Jackson. You were only six weeks old. And for your sake and your memory, uh, hopefully justice is served in the case of these two very stupid, very irresponsible individuals. Um... We can only hope that the sweet mercy in this is that since you wouldn't have remembered that you didn't go through anything, but who knows? Uh, we're, we're not babies. Uh, <laughs> yeah, in the most defenseless, innocent stage of your life. Yeah, just, just something to think about as I end this story. Um, Okay, um, this is Kev. This is BMBBH News, news without the WS. Um, till the next story.